Given f of x comma y, we're asked to graph the domain of the given function on the coordinate plane, then determine which of the ordered pairs x comma y are in the domain. Recall the domain of a function f of x comma y is the set of all possible ordered pairs x comma y. Analyzing the given function, notice the only issue is we have division by zero when y equals negative three. This is the only domain restriction. Again, y cannot equal negative three because if it did, we'd have division by zero, which is undefined. Which means we need to graph all of the points on the coordinate plane, except the points when the y coordinate is negative three. To do this, we graph the line y equals negative three as a dashed line. This indicates the points on this line are not in the domain. And now we need to shade everything else on the coordinate plane, meaning we shade above and below the dashed line y equals negative three. This is the domain of the given function, Again, it's all the points on the coordinate plane are all the points in R2 except the points in which the y coordinate is negative three. And then for the second part, which of the following ordered pairs x comma y are in the domain? The ordered pairs will be in the domain as long as the y coordinate is not negative three. So zero comma zero is in the domain, two comma zero is in the domain, zero comma negative three is not in the domain. Notice this point would be on the dashed line y equals negative three. Negative three comma two is in the domain because y does not equal negative three. Before we go, let's take a look at the graph of the given function. Here's the graph of the given function in space. Notice it does appear as if the function does have discontinuity and it does occur at y equals negative three. To see this, we can look down on the xy plane. Notice the break in the graph along the line y equals negative three. I hope you found this helpful.